Hi everyone, it's Becky here. So after almost two weeks taking care of my injured fur baby Dudu, I'm finally able to go out again. So I'm taking the bus and then the sky train to Main Street, Mount Pleasant area. Getting down the stairs at Main Street, and they moved the uh, bus stop to another location nearby. Taking the number three bus for about ten minutes. And it's always calming to see this、um, St. Patrick's Catholic Church at Mount Pleasant. So just walking down the street to、um, one of my favorite cafes around this area, the Forecast Coffee, somewhere on、uh, 14th Avenue and Main Street. It's very quiet at the cafe here in the summertime. So I ordered the cup of matcha latte and the chicken burger. So here is the first two pages of my brand new. Etcher watercolor sketchbook. So I'm gonna start sketching my cup of、uh, iced matcha latte while waiting for the chicken burger to arrive. Starting with the ellipse shape of the opening of the glass, the shape of the body, which is a very typical glass, the brim, and the liquid line, which is also an ellipse shape, and these ice cubes floating on top. Yeah, and these are like little icebergs floating above and below the liquid line, accentuate the base a little bit. And writing down these words, super flux, and it's it's very true that the world is always in fluctuations. And starting to draw the top of the burger bun, and then starting to draw these slices of lettuce and purple cabbage leaves, and the chicken patty here, sticking out a little bit, the base of the burger bun. And the sense of thickness accentuate the bottom because it's part of the shadow. And this little、uh, piece of napkin. And the、uh, serving board. So I compose most of my sketchbook pages through improvisation. And now I want to just have the handle of the serving board、uh, below or behind the glass of matcha latte, starting to draw、uh, the logo and the terrain pattern. Of a landscape, a bunch of these wavy lines showing the change of elevation, which is pretty fun to draw. Now I'm ready to paint watercolors. Starting to wet the burger with clear water, putting on a bit of、uh, diluted yellow ochre, wet into wet, orange brown, and brown. So three colors, wet into wet. Same for the bottom bun.、Uh, for the chicken patty, is、um, slightly diluted orange brown. A little bit darker sepia for the bottom of the bun for a bit of grill marks, and more concentrated brown for the next layer of the chicken patty. Using leftover green to paint the lettuce leaves and some royal purple for the purple cabbage. Yeah, so the value transition for the、uh, top burger bun is pretty important. So I would like to make it pretty strong by using three different color values. And first layer for the matcha latte is a diluted、um, lime green mixed with yellow ochre, a little bit more concentrated green for the bottom,、uh, for the matcha powder floating on the bottom. Yeah, so to get the creamy feel of matcha latte, you gotta dilute your yellow green with quite a lot of water for the first layer, and using some leftover gray to paint the black wooden serving board. Grabbing some leftover green in a super diluted version to paint the napkin to summarize that part very quickly, and grabbing leftover bluish and purplish gray to paint the shadow of the burger landing on the napkins. Same for the matcha latte. When painting shadows, I like to create a simple value transition with、uh, two values of gray. And that's it. Here's a look of my quick sketch of my drink and chicken burger lunch. So after enjoying my lunch, I decided to sketch this、uh, view in front of me. I've sketched the other、uh, side, the bar area already,、uh, about two years ago. So this time, I want to sketch this corner on the right hand side. So I'd like to spend about a minute or two to visualize the size and placement of these major lines of the interior space. Without using a pencil, so this time I really want to improvise with my pen directly, without any pencil work. So starting to draw that slanting line dividing the wall and the ceiling, 
and then starting to add one lamp dangling from the ceiling and another one which is a little lower uh, than this neighbor the wire going straight down and another light bulb behind dangling from the ceiling so it's a nice little trio group of lamps and this one is a screen yet yeah, dividing this interior space into like workstations and then starting to draw the back edge of the uh, the counter this area is the uh, little kitchen area where a barista is working on assembling sandwiches salads and other uh, food items this is the back view of a uh, barista girl her apron her pants her shoes okay and um, now i'm ready to draw the counter in front of her and there might be like a, a dishwasher or like an oven um, a floating shelf with some um, cooking ingredients a pot up there just keeping the shapes really simplified and a basket of fruits or tomatoes not so sure because it's pretty far away okay so that's um, a fun little section of my narrative and now moving on to this side starting to draw the profile view of the other barista girl serving the customers she had a longer ponytail yeah so i'm just drawing her face kind of in a cartoony way because she's moving all the time changing angles and positions and um, her upper body and her pants yeah so overall the human body has about six vertical units the head takes one and the rest of the body takes five units okay and we um, just added this uh, ipad screen for the customers to tap their cards and finishing the slanting line of this uh, foreshortened counter area with shelves and just keep being selective and just drawing these essential lines that defines the structure of the counter and these um, small number of shelves okay so on the left side of the barista is the uh, pastry shelf and some stacks of uh, paper boxes for uh, takeout starting to draw these uh, little croissants and quick breads and these are their order number signs so sketching a busy scenery like this is very much like finding harmony within chaos so it's always a really satisfying experience to put all of these big medium and small elements together into a visual image now i'm starting to draw this um, perhaps a sea wave or mountain pattern on the screen here behind yeah and i'm using very gentle hand pressure so these details are not competing with the main subject matters and slowing down uh, accentuate her ponytail a little bit before moving on to the next part of my drawing more dangling lamps um, in the middle foreground area the bulbs are looking bigger than the ones in the back because it's closer to us and the details for that air conditioning section close to the ceiling and the back wall yeah so just enjoying some peaceful moments after about two weeks of turbulence in my life and the process of drawing and painting seeing these lines emerging on a white sheet of paper creating a visual narrative of my world is truly healing and now i'm drawing a customer guy yeah a profile view and then some uh, post supporting the ceiling and another wall on the right hand side an alarm thing and more lamps okay so now i'm drawing the low shelf over here in the middle and some merchandise items like coffee mugs and another plant on the edge of another floating shelf 
and some ornamental bottles and picture frames starting to doodle the, these faces of customers pretty far away sitting against the, the wall here. A couple working on a laptop discussing business and another couple here. Yeah, so basically I'm giving myself a lot of freedom to draw. There's no right or wrong, just keep the lines flowing without overthinking. And then these uh, larger picture frames hanging on the wall with some photography images. Okay, and final few lines over here defining uh, the kitchen area's wall attached to the ceiling and more lamps. So this interior space is super illuminated. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the drawing. Now just writing down the day and date and a little note, including the time. Now I'm ready to add some loose watercolor washes over the drawing. So just starting to wet the entire area with clear water and punching on this uh, super diluted lemon yellow mixed with a little bit yellow ochre. This place is super illuminated by the interior lighting as well as sunlight streaming in from the big windows. And the shaded areas in this situation is actually very minimal. And grabbing some lime green, mix it with a little bit um, Meridian green to paint these leafy house plants uh, that are really echoing with the uh, cup of matcha latte. Yeah, a little bit green here and there for this interior space. And the green sign, the exit sign up there. And painting these um, images with leftover green and gray. So as you can see, I'm just painting these solid objects uh, with uh, vibrant or a little less vibrant colors in first before shading the white walls and ceiling area. Some more stronger yellows uh, below the lamps to show that they're really shining. And this wall here on the right hand side is the most shaded area. So just grabbing some leftover gray from my palette. Same as this part below the air conditioning openings. Yeah, so no matter how bright an interior space is, same as outdoors, there's always a little bit of strong shading happening here and there. It's not entirely illuminated. And shading using watercolors is so much fun. It's way faster than uh, colored pencils. It has its own charm. Um, I mean, I love shading with pencils as well, but um, it's just a different style. Now, grabbing some leftover green to paint the, uh, the sea wave, or I think it's, this is more like a mountain range pattern using the tip of my medium tip water brush. And again, this is a beautiful echoing color with the uh, leafy greens and the matcha latte that's, that ties everything together into unity. And this back wall, it also has this pattern, but it, I didn't draw the pattern with my ink pen. So I'm just gonna do that with my brush tip, these thin little brush marks. And this part, is, the pattern is kind of faded out because it's more far away compared to the screen. And grabbing some leftover yellow to add a stronger yellow there. Just like a little panel. Same as here for, for these floating shops, a more solid yellow. And intensify the blonde hair for these barista girls. Skin color for these people, which is a mix of orange and red. Diluted with a little bit water to get a skin color look. Now it's time to paint the outfits of these people. This girl, she's wearing like all black. But instead of using black, I'm using a dark indigo color that, that I mix um, cobalt blue with royal purple. A higher ratio of royal purple for her pants, so there's a bit of difference with her shirt and pants. And adding another slightly more solid yellow for the wooden board over here. And this barista, she's wearing a vibrant orange shirt and black pants. And keep shading the shelf area, which you know gets a, a lot less daylight as well as lamplight. So it's a bit more heavily shaded. Some more green brush strokes for the leafy plants uh, close to the back wall. And I also painted the blue takeout boxes. Some more coloring for these people's outfits. 
Yeah, so this part of the interior space is pretty abstract. It's just、um, the existence of these people that's really helpful to add a sense of narrative and sense of space、uh, to this interior. So overall, I had a really enjoyable, spontaneous experience drawing and painting this little scenery at the cafe. So sometimes we don't have to pick the most ideal sketching situation to、uh, to be able to sketch. It could be any moment happening in front of you, and the sketch it always looks more much more interesting than the reality. Some final polish here and there. That's it. And here is a look of my finished sketch. So it's a really quick one-hour stay at the cafe. So thank you so much for watching this short little video, everyone. If you like it, please click like and leave me a comment below. And Dudu, he is recovering very rapidly after the、uh, surgeries. He's very active. He's back to normal,、uh, having his、uh, usual active characters back, grooming right now. And he's also eating quite a lot.、Uh, he's on an urgent diet right now, and、um, yeah, so he's gaining some weight back after losing like four pounds. So I'm gonna send you more updates in the next video. Have a great day, everyone. Take care and enjoy your summer days. See you next time.